guys and welcome back to my channel i am jasmine dominique and today we are talking about weightlifting um, especially if you're a beginner or someone who is either thinking about including lifting into your regimen or you're just starting out with it which you probably should um then this video should be perfect for you i'm just going to go over a few tips that i wish that i knew when i first started and i've actually learned over the years but they would have been so so important for me to know um, early on so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and get started First and foremost, footwear. Footwear matters so, so much. Oftentimes, if we're doing cardio or running, we tend to have shoes that have a lot of cushion in them, or even if we're just walking around throughout the day, we like shoes, of course, with cushion. Now, this is different from lifting. When you are lifting or strength training, you actually want shoes with minimum cushion in them. Um, and this is because a lot of times when you're pushing um, weight off or you're, you're just in the movement of it, your foot tends to curve in or out or go in different positions because there's too much cushion. When we're strength training, we want a flat surface. We want it to be as flat as possible. These are three different things that I recommend when you are strength training. You could either one, you can work out barefoot, which could be nasty depending on if you work out at home or not. I don't know, that could be kind of dirty. Um, work out with socks on, so barefoot with socks. That's all one. Secondly, you can consider shoes such as um, Converse's, uh, Vans, and Metcons. Those are my three top. I personally really like Metcons and Converse's because they have that flat sole that is really, really good uh, for lifting. And then there is a third option, of course. There are actual shoes that a lot of big name brands make, such as Nike, Adidas, different companies. Um, that are specific for strength training or for lifting, uh, weightlifting. And these shoes are extremely flat, but they still give you the support that you need in order to lift. Secondly, start with machines. And the reason I say this is because machines tend to be less intimidating than free weights. A lot of times machines actually will guide you into doing the, the exercise correctly or more correctly than it would as opposed to you doing it with free weights. Machines also tend to have uh, pictures on them, oftentimes explaining how to do the movement and also showing you which body parts is working and things of that sort. I found early on in my journey that this was a lot more encouraging than just going to pick up some dumbbells and hoping that I was doing the exercise correctly. Number three, this is a reoccurring theme throughout many of my videos, but I've just found this to be like so true in so many aspects of lifting of working out of training in general and that is to eat enough or, or to eat um as it pertains to your goals so when you are lifting especially if you want to add on mass most of the time you're going to need to eat in a surplus this can be a little different for beginners because your body isn't accustomed to you working out or you strength training at all so you're going to adapt a lot quicker you want to see these gains a lot quicker than someone who's been working out for some time my point here, however, is to make sure you're eating enough food in general and then make sure you're eating enough protein. Protein, protein, protein is so important. Do not neglect your carbs or your healthy fats either, but make sure you are getting in enough protein. Typically, one, one gram per body, one pound per, one gram per body weight is um, a general rule of thumb. Again, this can vary from person to person. However, make sure you are getting in protein, protein, protein. That is the building blocks of our muscles. You know, I wish I knew that sooner. Um, but yeah, make sure you eat enough. Number four, this is so important, guys. Like, I think each of these are equally important. So this is, isn't going in like a specific order. But make sure that you are breathing, you're bracing, and your form is A1 through all of your movements, especially your compound movements such as squats, deadlift, and bench press. But across the board, you want to make sure you're doing these things well. You want to make sure that you are breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. You want to go ahead and breathe in and brace um, at the beginning of most movements and go ahead and exhale out as you are performing the hardest part of your movement. That is going to help tremendously. Like guys, I didn't understand the benefits of breathing, honestly, until probably last year. Like how important it was, especially when you're lifting heavy. Like make sure you are breathing. Like I want to hear you breathing literally like that you want to hear yourself breathe like i don't care what anyone else is doing around you make the noise if you need to make sure you're inhaling through your nose you're filling your belly up you're bracing and you are breathing out during the most difficult portion of that um exercise last but certainly not least 
make sure that you are adhering to progressive overload. And that is basically intensifying your workouts in some capacity. This could mean one of a few things. One, you're adding weight at a consistent and gradual basis. So even if that's 1.5 pounds more you're adding the next time you go, but you are challenging yourself in some form, you're challenging your muscle groups in, in some capacity. So you can add weight, you can also increase the amount of reps or sets. And then also lastly, you can um, you can change your time under tension. So for example, when you're squatting, you take more time going down than normal. That is increasing the intensity of that specific movement. So I hope that makes sense. And you don't want to do all of these things together. You want to be very strategic in which of them you want to or which variable you want to include. So you can either increase the actual weight, the amount of your workout, and it doesn't have to be by a whole 10 pounds or whole 15 pounds. It can literally be by 1.5 pounds or less than that if need be. Uh, secondly, you can uh, change the volume. So you can either increase your, uh, your reps or your sets. And then thirdly, your time under tension, um, slowing down the movements, doing them at a different tempo. That would be an example of time under tension. So over a length of time, those things will add up to actually um, make your muscles work harder and work more each and every workout, which essentially is progressive of overload. You want to challenge yourself. Um, when you first start off, please don't just start off heavy, like find out what is comfortable for you. And then as I mentioned previously, go ahead and add those variables in at some point. One variable, do not try to add all of them in into one specific exercise. One thing at a time, guys, but there's different ways to challenge your body and to allow your your muscles to grow. So those are the things that I've found throughout my journey to be most important, especially when it comes to weightlifting. Um, have fun with it, guys. Like, really try to enjoy your workouts. Um, don't rush through them. Really take your time. Rest when you need to. And just give it your all each and every workout. I try my best to make this video as short as possible because I know I've been keeping you guys for a while sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. You've been watching this ain't new. This ain't new. Yeah. We don't do no chasing. That's for you. That's for you. Check me in person. We ain't came up.